See, one of India's greatest sons, you are Anand Murthy, has died. Anand Murthy was an educator, writer and commentator, second to none, whose contribution, not just to Kannada literature, but to the culture of our country, can perhaps be summed up in one word, colossal. Anand Murthy was a staunch critic of the Sangh Parivar, and in some parts of Karnataka, his death was greeted by firecrackers, though the Prime Minister personally reached out to condole the death of the writer. You are Anand Murthy was a new voice in Kannada literature, part of the Navya movement. His novel, Samskara, questioned established caste conventions and caused controversy when it was published in the 1960s as it was strongly critical of Brahmin conventions. In his classic, he writes, Quite a lusty lot, those sages. What was the name of the fellow who ravished the fisherwoman smelling of fish right in the boat and gave her body a permanent perfume? And now, look at those poor Brahmins, descended from such sages. Let's see who wins in the end, you or me. I'll destroy Brahminism, I certainly will. My only sorrow is that there's no Brahminism really left to destroy in this place, except you. In a condolence message, Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted, Shri, you are Anant Murthy's demise is a loss to Kannada literature. My condolences to his family. May his soul rest in peace. But Anand Murthy was never frightened about speaking his mind. His criticism of Narendra Modi saw him receive threatening calls and online abuse. When he said that he would not want to live in a country where Narendra Modi was Prime Minister, it resulted in a strong backlash. I speak on my feelings and then I said, I wouldn't like to live in a country ruled by a powerful person like Modi. But then immediately I corrected it. But they held on to it. So strong was the anger against Anant Murthy because of the views he expressed that crackers were burst in some parts of Western Karnataka after his death. Anant Murthy was a recipient of the Gyan Peet Award, India's highest prize for literature. He was more than just a writer. You know, he was someone who shaped public opinion and that's the kind of uh, loss that we face today. You know, there were these extraordinary quotations of his. You know, he said uh, that an Indian writer is, uh, you know, uh, very lucky because uh, we, we live in the 12th and the 21st centuries. We live in the age of the bullock cart and the nuclear bomb. He refused to call the Sun Parivar the Saffron Brigade because he said, Saffron is a beautiful color. It's a color of renunciation. Why should we cede it to a political party? So, you know, he, he was a person of profound and original insights into our society and our culture. The writer had an MA in English literature from Mysore University, but was a fierce proponent of Canada who believed a child should be educated in her mother tongue. In one of his last interviews to NDTV, he said, All the North Indian states which speak Hindi should use Hindi as official language. We should use Kannada as official language. But when we work with the center, I think it is better to use English because it is quicker. He had been on regular dialysis for the last few years. Of late, he was undergoing dialysis at his home in Bangalore. He died in a Bangalore hospital on Friday. Well, there was this very unfortunate incident of uh, a fringe group, we are told, celebrating the death of uh, U.R. Anantamurti. The BJP has now condemned uh, the, the passing of the great man. The BJP strongly condemns incidents of celebration after the sad demise of Sri U.R. Anantamurti by a few disgruntled elements. Linking this inhuman act to BJP workers is deplorable. We clarify categorically that the party has nothing to do with this act. The Prime Minister and State President have already expressed their condolence. So have other leaders. We do not support this uncultured behaviour. My colleague Maya Sharma joins us now for more on this. Maya, the passing of a, of a great man who has contributed so much uh, to India. Who were these groups? Were they associated with the Sangh or were these fringe elements independent of the Sangh? These were definitely fringe elements, far-right fringe elements. Vishnu. After his comments on Modi, where he did say that he did not want to live in a country where Modi was Prime Minister, there was an outpouring of hate online as well. He told me that he used to receive telephone calls, phone calls as well, as a result of which there were actually guards posted outside his house for a while earlier this year. There was security outside his house. And when I spoke to him about this, asking him whether he was not frightened by this, whether he was not reluctant now to speak his mind, he said he was thinking to speak his mind. He was not frightened. He continued to speak his mind. So this hate, this anger had 
express earlier as well after that Modi comment. Today, probably the same lunatic fringe which has indulged in perhaps other activities as well on the west parts of Karnataka. A few people did set off crackers, did say that they were celebrating that right. death. In fact, even earlier when he made the comment about not wanting to live, they did say, well, leave, leave India as well. So that hate has been there, Vishnu. But really, I think it, did, it is, as Ram Goha said, a sign really that he could really get under their skin. They still cared about what he said. In fact, let's listen into a little bit more of what Ram Guha told us earlier on in the evening. Uh, the well-known historian uh, Ram Guha knew you are Anantamurti well, said that the writer would have been tickled to know of this reaction by those who opposed him. As we speak, I'm told Hindutva acti activists in some towns in western Karnataka are celebrating Anantamurti's death. Actually, he would have been quite tickled that an 80-year-old writer who's been on his deathbed for the last three or four years, suffering from acute diabetes and heart condition, gets under the skin of a political movement. You know, that shows his intellectual power. But I want to say, uh, I don't want to dwell too much on his political views, except to say this. One of Anantamurti's special characteristics was that he was an instinctive democrat who loved debate. 